As cat owners, we all want to keep our four-legged friends healthy and happy. And, of course, we want to do everything we can to make sure that happens. Still, the average cat owner often overlooks some important aspects of their pet's health care. Here are 23 of the most common mistakes cats owner do. Number 1. Toxic house plants. Some plants are toxic to cats. Removing toxic plants from your house or moving them to a room where your kitty doesn't have access is the best way to protect your cat. Cats may ingest toxic plant substances while they lick themselves because they can be pollen or seeds stuck in their fur. Even worse, some cats may chew on the leaves or vines of a toxic plant. Among the most toxic plants are daffodils, English ivy, azaleas, calla lilies, aloe, begonias, and ficus. Number two, not training them. Just like dogs, cats can be trained. Train your cat will improve your life and theirs and enhance the bond between you. For example, you can train them to get off the counter or not to scratch your furniture. Basically, when they jump on your counter, you tell them a word, like off when they follow your directions. Click the clicker and reward them with a treat. Getting rewarded for a behavior makes them want to repeat the desired behavior. Number three, forcing them to interact with you. Cats are very independent creatures. They don't like to be smothered with affection and they need some personal space. Make sure you provide them all the personal space they want. Likewise, provide your cats with a place where they can hide, be alone, and feel comfy and secure. Number four, washing their water bowl. A cat's sense of smell is 14 times better than that of humans. If you wash their water or food bowl, make sure not to use scented dishwashing liquids. Cats hate strong odors, and these scents can discourage your pet from drinking water from their bowl. Number five, overfeeding your cat. Obesity is one of the most common problems veterinarians diagnose in cats. It is estimated that over 50% of pet cats are either overweight or obese. These cats are at risk for numerous health issues. Weight issues can effectively shorten your cat's lifespan, sometimes by as much as two years or more. Feed your cat to keep him lean and in good body condition. Number six, not caring for your cat's teeth. Your cat's oral health should not be overlooked. The majority of cats over three years of age already have evidence of some degree of dental disease. Brushing your cat's teeth is the gold standard for in-home oral health care, and most cats will tolerate brushing with a little patience and conditioning. However, if brushing is impossible, your veterinarian can offer other options to help your cat's mouth healthy and pain-free. Number seven, only giving dry food. A common saying in the veterinary world is that cats outlast their kidneys. Cats eat a high-protein diet, and they usually aren't big drinkers. Over time, that can wear on a cat's kidneys. An easy way to get more fluid into your cat is to feed her wet food. The majority of your cat's calories should come from wet food with dry food used as a spice. Using wet food as the primary food helps kidney function in all cats and reduces the likelihood of urinary obstruction in male cats. Number eight, not changing the litter box regularly. No one likes changing a cat's litter box, but it is one of the most important elements of being a cat owner. Cats are very clean animals, so it is important to clean out their box daily. If you miss a day here and there, things happen. Miss too many days in a row, and your cat might just decide to find a better place to go. Trust me, it won't be a better place for you. Nothing beats the smell of soaked in cat urine. Number nine, not having your cat spayed or neutered. Have you ever heard of kitten season? Kitten season starts in the latter part of spring and heads into summer and early fall. It is the time of year that cats give birth to their kittens, leading to animal shelters and rescue groups to be bombarded with abandoned kittens. Aside from preventing extra kittens in the world, Spaying or neutering your kittens will also help protect them from certain illnesses later in life. If you don't have your cat spayed or neutered, you can look forward to possible aggression in a male cat and seasonal yowling from a female, which will attract every neighborhood tomcat from miles around to your door. Number 10. Not taking your cat to the veterinarian. Many new cat owners think that their cat doesn't need to go to the vet's office because they are indoor cats or they aren't sick. 
All cats need to have a yearly checkup to ensure they stay healthy. Even if you plan to keep your cat indoors for his entire life, he'll still need certain vaccines too. Regular vet visits also give your vet a baseline that they can reference when you have to bring in your cat if she's not feeling well. Number 11. Not getting pet insurance. These days, pet insurance is as commonplace as health insurance is for humans. Pet insurance is cheapest when purchased while your cat is still young, and it can help cover costs associated with illnesses like diagnostic work, surgery, hospitalization, and the like. All of these things can add up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on what's wrong with your cat. So it's a huge mistake to not get pet insurance. Number 12. Buying a cat on impulse. If you buy a cat on the spur of the moment, you often don't have the option to take it back if it doesn't function quite as you thought it would. So do your homework. Find out as much about the kitty as you can, its temperament, health, habits, and so on. Check the characteristics of the breed, if it's a purebred. Think about how it will fit into your lifestyle and if you have a home environment that is right for a cat. Number 13 thinking declawing is okay. It really is not okay to declaw a cat unless there's a valid medical reason. Many people have no concept of what declawing a cat entails, so let's think about something that is comparable to. Look at your hands. Now imagine having the whole first joint of each finger removed. That is what happens when a cat is declawed. Declawing does not just involve the removal of the claw itself, but the whole of the bone that the claw is attached to. This procedure is gradually being banned throughout the world. Number 14, giving a cat milk. There's a common misconception about cats and milk. Some people think cats love milk and that giving it to them won't do any harm. Some cats might like milk, but it definitely isn't good for them at all. As soon as a cat is weaned from its mother, its digestive system stops producing the enzyme lactase, which breaks down the lactose content of milk. This means cats become lactose intolerant as they can't digest milk properly. When a cat drinks milk, it ferments in its stomach, causing stomach cramps, diarrhea, and vomiting. So be kind and don't give your cat milk, no matter how much it pleads you for some. Number 15, thinking cats always land on their feet. This is a common misconception that often leads to injured cats. Make sure a cat can't fall from a balcony or window above ground level. Even if it does manage to land up the right way, it is at serious risk of breaking bones and possibly being paralyzed. Don't let this happen to your cat. Never ever hold a cat upside down and then drop it to see if it manages to flip over. This is so cruel and again could result in a serious injury. Number 16, allowing their cat to become overweight. An overweight cat is more prone to health problems. It's as simple as that. Cats don't need nearly as much food as some people imagine, especially if they are indoor only cats. Dry food makes it very easy to overfeed a cat because it is so high calorie. An average 10 pound cat only needs 250 calories a day to maintain weight. Number 17, shutting interior doors. If you contain your cat in a small area of your house, you will be curtailing its natural instincts to explore. Cats need space to roam, especially if they are not allowed outside. You'll notice that a cat always seems to want to get to the other side of a closed door and some will even learn to open one. So be kind to your cat and give it free reign in your home, particularly your bathroom. Cats love bathrooms, especially when you are in there. Number 18, placing water too close to food. It seems logical to put a cat's food and water together, but as a cat spends a lot of time at its food dish, the water bowl tends to end up with a lot of fur and dust floating on the surface. Ideally, there should be enough of a distance between food and water dishes to prevent this from happening. A good solution is to have a pet fountain that filters the water. Number 19, shaving a cat. Many owners contemplating shaving their long-haired cat either to remove matted fur or because they think it's kind to do this in hot weather. Clipping painful mats out is sometimes necessary, but you should only remove matted areas and not give an all-over shave.
A cat's fur helps to keep it cooler in hot weather so there is no need to cut or shave any off when temperatures rise. If you're trying to reduce shedding, groom your cat regularly. Start a grooming regime as soon as you get it. Be gentle and your cat should let you do this. There are always exceptions, of course. Number 20. Punishing a cat. You should never punish a cat physically or by shouting at it. It will not associate a telling off with something it has done. It will, however, learn to feel scared of you and learn not to trust you. Use positive distraction techniques to stop your cat from doing something you don't want it doing, such as clawing your furniture or jumping on your counters. The easiest way to do this with a favorite toy. Lead your cat to a scratching post to claw instead or away from the kitchen to play. Always remain calm and never raise your voice. Number 21, not providing shelter. If your kitty will be roaming free at night, it will need a weather-appropriate shelter to keep it safe from the elements, especially on cold winter nights. Build some kind of shelter for them that has some warm insulation and have heated water bowls because water can freeze. Number 22, overfilling your cat's food bowl. There's no such thing as too much food as far as your cat is concerned. In fact, every time you visit the kitchen, your pet may run to its food bowl, silently pleading with you to add a little more food. Although topping off the bowl may seem harmless, it could increase your pet's risk of becoming overweight or obese. Diabetes, arthritis, gastrointestinal problems, liver disease, and other conditions are more likely to occur if your pet weighs too much. Number 23, not enough resources. Cat owners may not understand how many resources cats need in the home to feel comfortable. Cats need one resource per cat plus one. What do we mean by that? A resource is something your cat will use or need, such as a litter box, food bowl, water bowl, scratcher, etc. The rule is that one cat requires two of these things spread out around the home. To keep them happy, two cats would need three in total, etc. Cats need multiple options and should be able to pick which they want to use, which means lots of work for owners. Many behavioral problems and even medical issues can be avoided with the proper distribution of resources. Conclusion Cats are fascinating pets that form deep bonds with their owners. Looking out for the common mistakes you can make and rectifying them can make first-time cat ownership much more enjoyable for you and your cat. Providing resources, toys, hiding places, and scratchers can remedy many of the perceived bad behaviors of cats, and creating a calm and happy home can set the scene for bond building between you that can last a lifetime.